23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Lanes have reopened at Union Avenue and Columbus Street following a deadly vehicle versus bicyclist crash. Officials say around 1140 this morning, a man was driving westbound on Columbus Street when he reportedly fell asleep at the wheel. The driver told police he woke up and made an abrupt movement to avoid traffic because he was entering the intersection at a red light. His vehicle went onto the sidewalk where he collided with a bicyclist who was waiting at the corner. The bicyclist died at the scene. The driver of the vehicle was not found to be under the influence of drugs or alcohol and was released at the scene. When the investigation is complete, officers said it will send the case to the DA's office for review. The city of Arvin is inviting residents to a public hearing to voice their concerns surrounding transit needs of the city. The council will open the meeting up for public comments related to unmet and reasonable transit needs. An unmet need exists if an individual of any age or physical condition is unable to transport themselves due to deficiencies in the existing transportation system. The hearing will be at 6 o'clock at the Arvin Council Chambers. Trolls Live is coming to Bakersfield this summer. It is their first ever live tour. The interactive performance will hit the Mechanics Bank Theater stage on July 21st and 22nd. Organizers say to expect singing, dancing, rainbows, and plenty of hugs. Tickets for the hair raising adventure go on sale next Friday, March 20th, starting at $15. You can get them online at AXS.com or at the box office. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. As we are tracking this powerful system throughout the day, it has been pushing moderate to heavy rain into Southern California, giving us a good soaking for our desert locations. We've had some showers off and on for much of the rest of the county, but this afternoon into this evening is the most active and wettest part of this storm as that occluded front is now moving up. So all of the rain coming up from the south. With that, again, it's just been showers, but picking up in intensity on the west side of the valley already and continuing into those evening hours. So with that in our future, Cast, you'll see that it picks up through five, six, seven o'clock right in the heat of the day. We have all the instability, so much of this rain starts to turn into isolated thunderstorm cells in areas where those thunderstorms form. You'll have some strong wind gusts. You'll have some heavy rain, some small hail potentially, and the dangerous cloud to ground lightning that can be deadly. So whenever thunder roars, you need to go inside. You need to take it easy, go indoors and keep yourself safe. But the other big note here is that we actually have a marginal risk of severe weather today, meaning some of those thunderstorms storms could start to rotate and that could produce funnel clouds or even the possibility of some small tornadoes. Now heading into tonight at 9 p.m. We have lost the daylight, therefore we don't have the heat. So the instability starts to crash a little bit and we're left with just some light showers throughout the overnight hours. But tomorrow as that storm system is hugging closer to the coastline, it still has some wraparound moisture over the top. So even though tomorrow is not as active as today, we still have the chance of some showers and even the possibility of more of those isolated thunderstorms. So in storm total until midnight tonight. Look at some of these future cast rain totals. About a quarter inch on the valley floor, about a half an inch for many mountain locations and up to an inch possible along the grapevine. If you head further south, we've had recent wildfire burn scars there and they're talking an inch or two of rain. It's too much of a good thing. We could see some rock slides, some mud slides, even debris flows, especially near that damaged earth. Now tomorrow you'll see these numbers climbing up just a little bit more as we add some more of that light rain onto it. But then after that, drying out, clearing out Thursday, some 70s to end the week before another system starts trying to come through late Saturday into Sunday and Monday with a chance of showers. That system much colder, definitely not as wet though, Jessica. All right, Elena, thanks. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.